Hello, welcome back to the Alfresco Garage. In this installment, we're going to be fitting this clutch master and slay cylinder hydraulic to an Ibeco daily. That's my work band. Uh, to do this job, we're going to need 10 mil spanner and screwdriver. Should take half an hour, I've been told. So let's get to the van and let's have a look. So this is a blue beast. The Ive Echo. It's 35 S12 HPI. Three and a half ton, 120 horsepower HPI. So as we can see, we've got a mass of oil that's come from the back of the master cylinder. It's gone on the floor. So that tells me master cylinders leaking in on the back of the clutch pedal we did lose our clutch pedal we lost him to the floor topped it up this is a sealed unit you're not supposed to top up but i managed to top him up with some hydraulic ep32 fluid uh, it come back a bit to get me on so now we're gonna leak getting him changed so Try and get in here. You can't really see, but on the top, you can just see there's a cap we need to pop off with the screwdriver, and that is just the that cap will pop off the back of the clutch pedal, the side of the clutch pedal, and then we'll feed the master cylinder from the back of the bulkhead. So while there's not much room, I'll get this cap popped off, then I'll get into the engine bay. So as you can see there, I've managed to pop the cap off the side of the clutch pedal. So now let's go into the engine bay and look at it from the back end. So as we can see, the master cylinder comes out here. You can, as you can see, there's a lot of oil leaking over it. So it's been a problem for a while, I guess. Uh, it's just took its time to come out. The piping, follow the piping across. Behind the water bottle. See, as you can see, goes down. bit dark to see but you can see the white piston there of the four 10 mil bolts that we need to undo to release so we're going to get the van jacked up on this side we'll get them four bolts out and get it released here and then we can feed it through in the engine bay so as we can see We've now undone the four bolts. In this case, there was only three, two at the bottom, one top right. They don't put the back one in. The top right did give me a bit of hassle getting out because the hose pipe for the slave was in the way. But we've now got it out. We've disengaged it from the clutch arm. So now we'll go to the top take the master from the bulkhead and it's a case of withdrawing it all through the engine compartment so the master should be half a turn anti-clockwise that 
what if I'm going to be able to do this with one hand. But we need to turn the master cylinder half a turn clockwise. Did I say to clockwise first? Clockwise. And then both ends disconnected. I'll try and do it and come back to that. Right, so I loosened it there with both hands. both hands to get it out but it is it's half a turn clockwise so let's get this removed so there we have the master out the bulkhead as you can see obviously little lugs there locking to the back so now it's just a case of withdrawing the old unit out Getting the new unit fitted as reverse. So here we have the old one out. I've just cut it to get it through. Uh, I'm not going to be reusing it. It's non-serviceable. It's going in the bin. So just to make it a bit easier, I cut it off and fed it through. So now. We need to feed, as you can see, it gets fed down. So it is easier to feed through from the top to the bottom. If you've got two people, you can have one person guiding. I'm on my own. So I'm going to attach it to a broom handle, I think. Try and feed it through that way. You feed your way under your water bottle. You go back in there. Here's the new part ready to go. So let's have a look, try and get this done. So I've now attached the master cylinder to the end of this pole. I'm hoping if I take it gentle, it should come up. without pulling the master cylinder off. Yeah. Oh, master cylinder fed up. Which leaves the bracket end now to connect the four bolts back to the clutch. And there we've got the new master cylinder piping going under the water bottle just connect it at the clutch pedal press the clutch do not press the clutch until it's all fitted or just snap the little white prongs which help it bleed but once we've got it all bolted up on the side the clutch pedal connected just touch the clutch it breaks the tangs that gives you a clutch pedal. So now we need to locate and mount the bracket to get the clutch, the plunger as such, 
into the clutch arm. Well, let's get these bolts bolted on. That's really we see. Can just see if I can get under. We've got the new one fitted. As I say, the prongs are still on it, the tabs. You leave them on, don't take them off at all before you have it all installed. So we have the new slave bolted on. The light's just beating up, but I think it's just got it done in time. It all coming around of the new master. So now we need to connect the ball onto the clutch. I need to go and get a screwdriver to prang that on. Let's get that connected. So the ball's connected now to the touch pedal. When we press the clutch, it should engage and break the tangs. 